Doris Kiara. There was a power cut. Kiara, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry, you are the only participant with me now, waiting for others to join us. I'm not sure why they are late. Okay. I've just accepted you on our Facebook page. Thank you for joining us. Looks like nobody wants to join or what? Joseph, I mentioned some of them. Joseph Howard. Can find his name. Okay, Kiara will work till they join us. I'm not sure. I mentioned their names in the Facebook page. But okay. No. Okay, let's look at question four until they or somebody else joins us. Question four, we answered it, right? So Hans was a painter, right? Yes. Kara, he has another job, but it was a winter job. Do you remember what it is? Mm. The winter. No. Pain because in the winter, you know, in Germany, it's raining most of the time. But he used to paint the faces of houses. Now, in the winter, his work stops, right? Jenna, yes. Anna and, and two other guys, sorry. Jenna. Jenna, Tadros, okay. So, uh, in the winter, he doesn't paint. So, how does he earn money here? How does he make money in the winter? He has another job. Remember, mm, he used to play a specific musical instrument. Oh, the accordion, right? Yes, yes, right. So in the winter, he plays the accordion for a little money in some uh, 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 mulking pubs, P-U-B, P for pen, U, B for book, okay? So, question guys, we are doing question four, what was Hans Huberman's occupation? We said that he was a painter by trade, or his original uh, job was a painter, but he was uh, playing the accordion in the winters because he didn't paint houses in the winter. He played accordion in some pubs for a little money. And he has a hobby. Who can remind me of his hobby? His favorite hobby was, who can answer, put your hands up. He was interested in something and he asked Liesel to join him doing this or practicing this hobby. Remember it? Uh, Does anybody remember his hobby? Okay, just to save time, uh, he was... A uh, letter, uh, cigarette. Yes, perfect, Kiara. He was in the habit of rolling cigarettes. He rolled his cigarettes himself. And when Liesel refused to take the bath, if you remember the bath, he went over to her and, and they both spent almost an hour rolling uh, cigarettes together and he was smoking them. So his job, main job is a painter. He is uh, also a musician. He played the accordion, but his level was above average. He was an excellent painter, above average uh, accordion player, and he liked to roll cigarettes. Okay, thank you, Kiara. Question five, uh, what were Liesel's nightmares about? The girl used to have nightmares almost every night. What were they about? Put your hands up, please, guys, and be more active, please, please. Uh, I have Tadros, Kiara, Yusuf Awad, Ganna Gouda, and Jana Gray. Uh, be more active, please. Put your hands up if you know the answer to question five. What were Liesel's nightmares about? Hmm? What 
where measles nightmares about put your hands up if you know the answer uh kiara again okay kiara okay say it uh, it's brother uh, her brother her brother's death the moment when her brother was on the train and they came and take, uh, took his soul uh, every night she sees her brother on the train staring or looking on the floor of the train right okay thank you kiara question six what instrument does hans play for liesel as we said the accordion a c c o r d i o n the accordion Question seven, just to save time, what does Liesel have to join at age 10? Uh, remember the bond of the uh, uh, German girls, the band of the German girls, the BDM, okay? Uh, the girls, when they turn 10, they join this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, organization. Question eight, what sport does Liesel play on the street? What sport does Liesel play on the street? Uh, Yusuf Awad, can you answer this question? What sport does Liesel play uh, on the street with her friends? I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Look at question eight, Yusuf. Can you see the, st the screen? Uh, football. Football or soccer. Okay, thank you. Question nine, what, who does Rudy admire and why? Question nine, Rudy Steiner, the boy uh, who is about 10 months older than uh, Liesel, admires someone. Who is this person and why does he admire? Uh, I'll go to Tadros, if you know this answer, Tadros. Please uh, answer. Tadros, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Mr. Uskosh. Uh, question nine. Rudy Steiner, the little boy, Liesel's friend, admires someone. Who is this person and why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay. Rudy admired an American athlete, a runner called Jesse Owens. J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, Owens, O-W-E-N-S. And um, a black American, okay because he was the fastest person in the world. And in Berlin Olympics 1936, he won four gold medals. And there was an incident when Hitler refused to shake hands with him because as you know, Hitler thought that all the other people who are not Aryans were inferior to the Aryans. This is a black person. He is inferior to me. How come I shake hands with him? This was a famous incident. Again, the boy admired a person called Jesse Owens, who was an, a, a, a champion in the Berlin Olympics in 1936 at the time of Hitler. Question 10. Uh, uh, guys who study online, please make sure you finish part one. Read part one. Read part one up to page, I think, 57. Uh, we did the prologue in the first term. Please read part one. Uh, what 10% of German in Hans uh, is Hans a part of? Hans was uh, uh, belonged to 10% of Germans uh, who did what or who are what or uh, who can answer. We said in 1933, 90% of the Germans did such and such and the rest, the 10% did such and such. Hans belonged to the 10%. What did they do? Or who were they or hmm. waiting for your answers? Hmm. Okay, I'll answer it. We said that 90% of the German people supported Hitler. They were very enthusiastic about his winning the elections in that year. But 10% only didn't support him, didn't want him. Hans belonged to them. Hans was one of them or one of those who didn't want Hitler. Question 11, what happens when Hans, what happens when Hans finds Liesel's stolen book? Hmm. 
he asks her about the owner of the book and then starts to teach her how to read and write. Question 12, we haven't done it yet. Uh, I'll uh, go to the vocab list. You have to study this vocab list. Again, guys, I put this uh, worksheet on SMS last night. There are two worksheets on SMS. You have to study this uh, for the exam. The word torrent means a flow of water or, or air or a gush. If you open the door and it's windy, you have a gush of air, gush, gush, torrent, flow. Number two, unsavory means unpleasant or distasteful. Apprentice is a beginner who's learning to do a specific craft, like apprentice, uh, a carpenter, an apprentice, uh, a mechanic, and so on. Innocuously means harmlessly. Innocuously, innocuously, harmlessly. Echelons, echelons. Echelons means levels or ranks or classes of society or a community. Enviable, enviable means fortunate. When somebody is enviable, you envy him or her for having something. This means he is or she is fortunate. Illustrious, we said that the girl was a thief and this was an illustrious career, a famous career. We have many thieves around. Hiatus or hiatus, uh, sorry, hiatus means a break, a pause, hiatus, hiatus, okay? Uh, eventuated means ended or occur as a result. Ended in a specific way or occur as a result. Eventuated. Vehement. Vehement means intense. Prolific. Uh, my, uh, 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 uh. For example, William Shakespeare was a pro prolific writer. He was abundant. He wrote a lot. Prolific writer. Castigate. When you castigate someone for doing something, you criticize them. Criticize. Deluge means a flood, flood of water when a city is flooded. Stupefying means amazing. When you are amazed, you look like stupid. You don't believe it. You, you, huh? Okay, this is a stupefying fact. Atrocious means brutal, like animal like. Atrocious. Uh, audacious. Audacious means brave, daring. Courageous, uh, nefarious, nefarious means evil or wicked, nefarious, auspicious, auspicious, promising or favorable, auspicious, uh, raucous means noisy, harsh, grating, making much noise and disorderly, okay, messy, uh, raucous. Berate means insult or scold. Berate. Frigid from the word ah. Uh, frigid without form or feeling. Frigid. Frigid emotions. Loathsome means causing disgust. Luminary, a person who inspires or an expert in a field that inspires others, especially one prominent in a particular sphere or field or specialization. Apocalyptic, describing the complete destruction of the world. Clenched, when we talk about the teeth, they are pressed tightly together with anger. Pensive, when you are pensive, you're engaged in deep or serious thoughts. Flippant, disrespectful, showing no respect. Morbidity, state of disease and death. Uh, abducted, like kidnapped, carried off, unlawfully. Finally, we have the word grudge, which means hatred. Print this sheet, study it. These vocab items are very important. Thank you very much.